Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Older women should seize power later in career, says AARP chief at Forbes 3050th Summit. According to Joe Ann Jenkins, CEO of AARP, the number of women over 50 will double by 2050. And that is a tremendous power and an opportunity for us to address the things that are happening to women around the world are important, she added on Wednesday, during the Forbes 3050th Summit in Abu Dhabi. The conference, a celebration of International Women's Day, includes many on the Forbes 50 over 50 list, making age an interesting topic, despite the achievements of women on the list, ageism remains a serious problem. A NAARP study found that ageism against Americans over 50 cost the U.S. economy $850 billion in 2018. That leaves significant untapped potential. The report estimates that in an age-neutral economy, the potential economic contribution of the 50-plus age cohort could increase by $3.9 trillion. In one study, researchers sent out 40,000 fictive CVs, in which they only varied the gender and age of the applicant. Otherwise, the CVs were identical. The recall rate for CVs from younger women was almost twice as high as for older women. According to a recent series of studies published in Organizational Behavior and Human Decision Processes, middle-aged working women have a preference for warmth which can impact their job evaluations. Women are generally expected to be warm and friendly, and they may face backlash if they are perceived as being too power-hungry or not friendly enough. However, researchers recently found that working women's perception of warmth decreases as they age, which can lead to negative career outcomes. In one of the studies, the researchers examined the teaching evaluations of university professors at different stages of their careers. They tried to consider external factors that might affect the ratings, such as B. Parental responsibilities and extra workload. The study found that male professors maintain consistent ratings throughout their careers, regardless of age. However, this was not the case for their female colleagues. Ratings for female professors peaked when they were younger only to experience a sharp decline in middle age. Women's assessment scores on their teaching the same activity they were engaged in, which were assessed similarly to men early in their careers, decreased from young adulthood to middle age, the researchers write. Contrary to the notion that teaching ability is a skill that is likely to improve with experience, women were clearly rated as significantly worse teachers, even after gaining additional experience. They add, interestingly, it wasn't the competence of the women that it was questioned, but rather their warmth. Those who are considered more attractive generally earn higher incomes and are better valued in the workplace. Women are perceived as less attractive as they get older. Although the same thing happens to men as they age, the effect is more pronounced in women. As a result, women report greater pressure to maintain a youthful appearance and are almost twice as likely as men to see the need to take action e.g. be dyeing their hair to meet standards of beauty. On television, it is easy to see how lookism is affecting women in the entertainment industry. An analysis of broadcast and streaming programs found that there are twice as many roles for male characters over the age of 60 as for women in this age group. Finally, women are more likely to work part-time or take breaks during their careers because of their larger family commitments. Unfortunately, these career leaps can hamper women as they try to catch up and move forward. Middle-aged women in particular can be disadvantaged when competing with men with uninterrupted career paths.